Okay, this is a Panasonic DMR EH55 DVD hard disk recorder. I had it for about seven years, worked very well with no problems until don't know if you can read that, just about. HDDEWR hard disk drive error and the DVD uh, drive itself just opens as though it's looking for something which it is in fact as we shall see now I'm just going to close that and while it's closed I'm going to Whip the main sleeve out of the back, otherwise it'll open again. Okay, so what to do? You can, of course, take it to a service agent. They quoted me a minimum of 50 Kiwi dollars for just to look at it. About $150 for a new drive. That's 200 Kiwi dollars plus GST which makes about 230 Kiwi dollars and I bought a brand new one for 300, about 350 and that has a guarantee and that also has free view tuners this one has the old type of uh, analog tuners on it so is it possible to replace the drive without taking it into a service agent because it's just uneconomic I phoned the Panasonic helpline in and New Zealand and they were quite dismissive and just suggested I take it to a service agent that was their first response not very keen on people doing self-servicing so is it possible and if so how to do it well let's see first thing of course is to open it now with a lot of these sort of things it's removing the mystique of the whole thing that enables you to uh, fix it. To open this one, and I'm sorry I'm holding the camera with one hand so it's going to be a bit wobbly, there's a screw like this on each side of the casing. I'm only going to... I've already done the other side. It's not in there. And there's three small screws on the back. Here's one. And there would be another one here and another one here. So three all together. The cover then just pulls back. Uh, do make sure you've got this disconnected, won't you? Pulls back, comes out. There's a little bit which goes under the front control panel. And off it comes. Okay, looking at the inside then, here on the right is the hard disk drive. That needs to be removed, and that is done by removing four screws which attach its cradle to the motherboard. One, can we see this one down here? Two, three, four. Remove those, disconnect the connections from the hard drive. This is the data cable, just gently but firmly on each end. Pull that back and that will... So here's the hard drive loose from the motherboard and here's the data cable and the mains one. I'm afraid I can't do these one-handed, but they just basically slide out gently but firmly 
pulling them back towards you. So that's what the data cable plug looks like, a multi-pinned one. And that's the mains one. And here you can see on the left the socket that that multi-pin plug goes into and on the right the socket the mains one goes into. In the middle are little jumpers and the jumper bridge thing should go on the far right. So here's the one that uh, has come out of the DVD recorder. It's a Western Digital 1600 BB. It's a 160 gigabyte hard drive. There's no advantage to putting a bigger one in because it's set into the model that it will only format and use 160 gigabytes. So the replacement drive, of course that one I took out had to be removed from the cradle. One, two, three, four screws. And there's two possible holes there they could go in. They go in the rear most of them. And then that's going to be put into the recorder in the reverse way to removing one. So there's a replacement one in there. It's worth noting that really to get these screws that hold the cradle back in the motherboard it's really a good idea to have a magnetic um, crosshead screwdriver that will hold them so that you can uh, direct them down into the holes. This one in particular in this corner can be tricky. You can't put the cradle in the wrong way round because there's a little peg down in this corner that one corner has to go over so it can only go one way round. Now the drive itself is a 160 gigabyte drive. It's the same similar one to the one removed. It's a PATA drive, P-A-T-A, PATA or PATA, not sure how to pronounce it. Not a SATA or SATA, S-A-T-A drive. It's a PATA drive, otherwise known as an E-I-D-E -E drive. So that's in there now. The service manual for this can be downloaded from Panasonic, the Panasonic site. The address should be coming up in one of the little annotations and it tells you what to do. Writing the main firmware to the unit is necessary after replacing the hard drive. Prepare the latest firmware updating disk. So if you go to Panasonic support site, you can get all the instructions and the software for a firmware updating disk. So let's see what happens. Plug in the mains. One handed. Hard drive spins up, which is better than the clicking sound of the previous dead one, apparently known as the Western Digital Click of Death. Hard disk error comes up on there. The tray opens ready to drop in the firmware updating disk. Close it and guess what? It doesn't work as we shall see. You get a few messages coming up on the screen here. NG disk and no FVU and it spits it out again. That's the one from the Panasonic support website. No use at all. But the manual here, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see this, does say if a wrong disk was inserted, NG disk, no FVU is displayed. 
So that's helpful because it tells us at least that that disk made up as instructed from Panasonic support site is the wrong disk. Okay, so now we introduce the special ingredient. I phoned the Panasonic helpline again and either it was a different person or he was in a more helpful mood. This time after trying to send me to a service center, I explained that it was just uneconomic to do it and it was a shame to throw it away. And he rang through to the bench, whatever that is, presumably where they actually do servicing themselves, and said yes it was the wrong disc and they'd send me another one and here it is. So at this moment of course I don't know if it's going to work while I'm filming it because I haven't done it yet. I've also got the TV on this time ready. Uh, there was no point earlier in this video simply because nothing's displayed on the screen if it just comes up with HDD error. So um, in theory after the drawer opens and I'll pop this in and if all goes well there'll be some different uh, little messages yeah, gobbledygook uh, well, hieroglyphics on the screen and then I should get a prompt on the screen to format the hard drive remember this is a specific format it's not a PC format it's a special format used uh, for Panasonic uh, DVD recorders. So, just find the mains lead and plug it in the back here. And the TV goes black initially, which is a, a good sign. Nothing's come on except the naught here. So, put this on, and we get hello, hello, and HDD error, and the drawer opens automatically. We put this disc in, and now let's see if I can get whatever these messages are on the screen here. Should, should say something that load FVU and 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 ah it's doing something load it's different messages that's for sure M firm And at this moment, as far as I understand, it's actually updating the firmware, so we have to be very careful not to interrupt it. And uh, we certainly don't want a power cut at this time. M firm load. Main up to up update. Okay. Wow, and it opens that again. Take that out. And it says it's okay. Back to the service manual, I think. Ah, press power button to turn off power then you turn it on again um, the interesting thing is it doesn't always tell you to close or open the uh, DVD but while it's open I can't get to the power button so turn it off bye
Okay, so now we're supposed to turn it on again. And it's supposed to reinitialize, I think. Hello. Do we get HDD error? If so, it should then prompt for a format. Isn't this exciting? Well, that's a new message. SP32H4. Ah! Look! Format hard disk. Formatting will delete all contents. This will take approximately one minute. Start formatting. And so I've just got to hope that it responds to the remote control because it never did before. Uh, click enter for yes. All contents will be deleted even if protected. Start formatting. Start. And here we go. Well, of course, the proof of the pudding will be formatting is complete. It's supposed to take about a minute. It's a little bit worrying. Okay. Return. And... Direct Navigator. Ah! Look! It says there's a hard disk and okay so there it is there was no picture on the screen because I haven't actually plugged it into a picture source so there's only something on the screen if then I you know bring up the uh, hard disk navigator or something so let's just check the functions Check, for instance, what the uh, what the uh, uh, clock is set to. And it, the clock has, of course, set itself and the dates back to nothing. But who who cares? I can re-enter those, and there we go. One hard disk updated. Hooray.